Hey everyone, what's up? And if you enjoy the video and you love Bethesda content, consider leaving a subscribe, like the video, and comment down below. I would try to get this video at least to 20 likes, so if we could do that, that would be greatly appreciated. So, we have some type of news regarding Fallout 5. Number one, and the best part about this is we know it exists. Obviously, clearly, Fallout 5 exists, because why wouldn't it? The last single-player Fallout game was absolutely fantastic, and that was Fallout 4. So, Fallout 5, of course it exists. But, Todd Howard himself had a few things to say regarding the game. That's how we know it exists. Some of it is good stuff because, hey, at least we're getting it. At least it's on the agenda. But we just don't know when. So this is what Mr. Howard had to say regarding Fallout 5. We have a one-pager on Fallout 5 of what we want to do. So if you guys do not know what the heck a one-pager is, a one-pager for video games basically describes the summary of the game, kind of features what they want to put in the game, stuff like that. So it explains a little bit about what the game is about, but there's not much, hence it's one page. And that's all they have in regards to Fallout 5. Howard also had this to say, I'd like to find a way to accelerate what we do, but I can't really say or commit to anything that's going to happen when other than, hey, our cadence is Starfield and then Elder Scrolls 6. So listen, so far of what I've unpacked, Fallout 5 obviously has a one-pager, meaning they kind of know what the game's going to be about. They have an idea, but they're working on Starfield and Elder Scrolls 6. That's their focus. A lot can happen between now and Fallout 5. Starfield can absolutely explode, and they may want to work on a brand new Starfield game and release that before Fallout 5. Think about this. Fallout 4 came out, then three years later, an online version of Fallout came out. When we all thought Elder Scrolls 6 or Starfield was on the agenda, which it was, but a Fallout game came out before Starfield and Elder Scrolls 6. So do not be shocked if a second iteration of Starfield is on the way before Fallout 5. Now, like I said, this all depends on the success of Starfield. From what I'm reading here, Mr. Howard really doesn't know when Fallout 5 is going to be on the way. They're just set on Starfield and Elder Scrolls 6. Now, in regarding to outsourcing the franchise and letting another studio work on it, Howard had this to say. Fallout's really part of our DNA. We've worked with other people from time to time. <laughs> Obsidian. I can't say what's going to happen. Todd Howard can't say if they're going to outsource it or not. It seems like that he doesn't want to. That he wants to keep the Fallout franchise in-house. And rightfully so. Of course he does. But we also have to keep this in mind as well. Microsoft owns it. Microsoft owns the IP. I don't care how many times you want to tell me that Microsoft is saying oh, we're going to let Bethesda be Bethesda. If they want Fallout to come out sooner than 2030, then that's going to happen, and they're going to have somebody else work on it. Whether it's Obsidian, in Exile, somebody else within Microsoft will work on the brand new Fallout game. We could have a spinoff even, but I can't see them putting the Fallout franchise on ice for so long. I really can't. And Howard also had this to say, I'd like to view it as one big team, and then we have groups that focus on one game. Howard has said this plenty of times before. Bethesda Game Studios is just one huge happy family. They each work on their own game, but then as soon as they're in full production and ready to push a game out, all hands on deck goes on their present game, which is Starfield. I don't know if that's happened yet, but... It'll happen soon when the game is closer to release. So Howard said you could look at the Fallout 76 team, mostly based in Austin right now, and that's a full team that you would put on a game, but they work on other things. And a lot of people here in Rockville worked on 76 in Montreal and Dallas as well. So every studio in Bethesda puts their hands in on every title. And when they do that, they're trying to push the game out and give us as much content as possible in regards to DLC or they're trying to get the game out before it's release and they're trying to do it in a timely fashion in a productive fashion and get it out to us so we could play it like I said when a game's closer to release all hands on deck so listen Fallout 5 we don't know much about it <laughs> all we know is this 
It exists. Todd Howard talked about it. They have a one pager on it. They know what it's going to be about. And they just don't know when it's coming out. They would rather not have somebody else make a Fallout game. But to my knowledge, that might not be up to them. That might be up to Microsoft at this point because they own them. So it remains to be seen. We could see maybe a Fallout spinoff before Fallout 5. Who the heck knows? We could even see Starfield before Fallout 5. A second Starfield. We have no idea. It depends how well the franchise, depends how well the game does. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I would love to see what you guys have to say. Don't forget to subscribe for more Bethesda content. Guys, listen, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited that Todd Howard at least talked about Fallout 5. That made me happy. But he really can't say much because honestly, I don't even think he knows. It's all up in the air at this point. Does Microsoft outsource it to somebody else? It's not even outsourcing. It's still in-house if they use one of their own studios. It remains to be seen. So guys... Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already liked the video and comment on what you guys think about this whole hobbitaboo on oh, no, all the heck I just said. So, guys, I thank you all for watching. This is Joe signing out.